Hey everyone, and welcome to Health Habit. Today we're diving into the world of intermittent fasting, one of the hottest health trends. But what exactly is it, and is it right for you? Let's break down the different methods and explore the potential benefits of this unique eating pattern. Intermittent fasting isn't about starving yourself, it's about cycling between eating periods and fasting windows. Unlike traditional calorie restriction, it focuses on when you eat, not just how much. This can be a more sustainable approach for some people. There are several ways to practice intermittent fasting so you can find a method that fits your lifestyle. Here are some popular options. Time-Restricted Eating This method involves restricting your daily eating window to a specific time frame, typically ranging from 4 to 8 hours. For example, if you choose an 8-hour eating window, such as 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., you would consume all your meals and snacks within that time frame, fasting for the remaining 16 hours of the day. The most popular form of time-restricted eating is the 16 8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window. Alternate Day Fasting With this approach, you alternate between days of normal eating and fasting. On fasting days, you may consume very few calories or none at all, while on non-fasting days, you eat normally. Some people opt for a complete fast on fasting days, while others may consume a limited number of calories, typically around 500 to 600. 5. 2. Diet. In the 5. 2 diet, you eat normally for 5 days of the week and restrict your calorie intake to about 500-600 calories on the remaining 2 non-consecutive days. On fasting days, you may consume these calories in 1 or 2 small meals. Periodic fasting. This method involves fasting for longer periods, ranging from 24 hours to several days interspersed with periods of regular eating. For example, you might fast for a full 24 hours once or twice a week, consuming no calories during that time, and then eat normally on the other days. Eat Stop Eat With this approach, you fast for a full 24 hours once or twice a week. For example, you might fast from dinner one day until dinner the next day, consuming no calories during the fasting period. Now that we've covered some of the popular intermittent fasting methods, let's talk about the potential benefits they offer for overall health. Intermittent fasting can be an effective strategy for weight loss by reducing calorie intake and promoting fat loss. During fasting periods, the body relies on stored fat for energy, leading to weight loss over time. Additionally, intermittent fasting may help regulate hormones involved in appetite control, leading to reduced calorie intake. Improved Metabolic Health Intermittent fasting has been shown to improve various markers of metabolic health, including insulin sensitivity, blood sugar levels, and cholesterol levels. By reducing insulin resistance and promoting fat loss, intermittent fasting may lower the risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Enhanced autophagy Autophagy is a cellular process that removes damaged or dysfunctional components, helping to maintain cellular health and function. Intermittent fasting has been found to stimulate autophagy, potentially reducing the risk of age-related diseases and promoting longevity. Reduced inflammation. Chronic inflammation is linked to various health problems, including heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disorders. Some studies suggest that intermittent fasting may help reduce inflammation by suppressing inflammatory markers in the body. Increased longevity. Some animal studies suggest that intermittent fasting may extend lifespan and promote longevity. While more research is needed to fully understand the effects of intermittent fasting on lifespan in humans, the metabolic and cellular benefits of fasting may contribute to overall health span. Simplicity and convenience. Intermittent fasting can be relatively simple to implement and doesn't require complex meal planning or calorie counting. By reducing the frequency of meals, intermittent fasting may simplify eating patterns and make it easier to adhere to a healthy diet. Intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. Here are some things to keep in mind. Consult with a healthcare professional. Before starting intermittent fasting, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns, consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian. They can provide personalized advice based on your medical history, current health status, and nutritional needs. Stay hydrated. During fasting periods, it's important to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water, herbal tea, or other non-caloric beverages. Proper hydration can help alleviate hunger pangs and prevent dehydration. Eat nutrient-dense foods. During eating windows, focus on consuming nutrient-dense foods that provide essential vitamins, minerals, and macronutrients. Incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats into your meals to support overall health and well-being. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for managing weight, 
improving blood sugar control, and promoting overall health. However, it's important to find a method that works for you and consult with your doctor if needed. Remember, consistency is key. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more health and wellness content. Let us know in the comments if you've tried intermittent fasting and what your experience was like.